Hey, what's up folks, how's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. Now, the iPhone XR got released a couple of days ago. We've been doing a lot of testing with it. What we want to answer and address in this video is which of the current generation iPhone has the best battery performance? Is it the XR, the XS, or the XS Max? So uh, let's talk about the actual specifications and capacity of each smartphone. Now, the biggest battery is actually on the XS Max. It has a capacity of 3179 milliamp hours. The second largest is the XS at 2944 milliamp hours and the smallest is on the uh, 10s which is 2659 milliamp hours and all three iPhones have Qi wireless charging enabled now let's talk about charging for a brief second before we get into the drain test we actually use the same 24 watt RAV power charger for each uh, device for our charge test and uh, to get from 0 to 50% pretty much all three of them within a couple of minutes of variability can get 50% charge in 30 minutes or around there. Now when it comes to getting a full charge there's actually a huge difference from 99% to 100% so we actually listed uh, the charge times there because most people realistically are going to be fine with charging up to 99% and it's probably better for the phone not to always be maxed out. And and that's why it takes a little bit longer uh, to get that extra 1%. But here are the results over here, basically 155 minutes for the 10s Max, 128 minutes for the 10s, and the 10R can get 99% in one minute, 41 seconds. And you can also see uh, the 100% uh, charge times over there. As you can see, it's about 10 minutes or so more to get to 100%. Now, just below that, you can see the wireless charge times, both to 50 to 100%, and obviously, it's gonna take a little bit longer, even though we're using a fast wireless charger. But uh, for the iPhone XS Max, you're looking about 250 minutes to get 100%, 165 minutes. For the XS and uh, for the XR, you're looking about 142 minutes. Now, in terms of our battery drain test, we use two different tools. One is the Geekbench battery benchmarking tool, and the second is our own video playback test. Now here's the results for the Geekbench test. The iPhone XR is the winner. It got the highest score and the highest runtime of 4,375 points and a runtime of about seven hours, 22 minutes versus the uh, XS Max got uh, 4,052 points and a runtime score about six hours, 48 minutes. And the XS got 3,186 and a runtime of five hours and 21 minutes. Now let's talk about the video playback test. I'm gonna just show you guys on how I conduct the test. I basically take the smartphone that we're gonna test out, we put it on airplane mode, set the brightness to about 50%, then we use the VLC app to play a 1080p video on infinite repeat. Now the way that we monitor the runtime is we have a GoPro camera shooting a still every 30 seconds because some of these smartphones run for like 15, 16 hours. So we need a lot of recordability. We have 128 gigabyte SD card in there. So theoretically we can get up to like 50, 60 hours of record time. And we're accurate to again, about 30 seconds, which is plenty uh, for this specific test. Now certainly this is not gonna be completely representative of what the smartphone day in and day out is going to perform like from a battery perspective, but it gives us a kind of way to measure each smartphone's battery performance in a fairly objective way. And we do this for pretty much all the smartphones we test out. So what you're looking at is basically the results of the iPhone XR. And as you can see, it's doing very well. The runtime was around 15 hours, 34 minutes. Now the iPhone XS Max got about 14 hours, 31 minutes, and the XS got 14 hours, 13 minutes. And from those results, I can definitely clearly say that uh, to this day, this is uh, the most powerful smartphone when it comes to the battery performance that we've ever tried out. And that's big praise uh, for the iPhone XR. So uh, basically that's really it uh, guys. Now, obviously again, from a day-to-day -day standpoint, battery life is gonna fluctuate person to person, but uh, from uh, most of the things that we've uh, tried out and uh, basically using the iPhone XR for a couple of days, I did find that it lasted generally longer than my experience with the iPhone XS Max and XS. Furthermore, we also did another larger comparison for the battery performance with all the current generation iPhones in addition to some of the Android devices we've tested out. So definitely check out that ultimate battery life test video. Uh, check that in the description down below or on the card. But on that, thanks for your support. If you have any questions, let me know and we'll see you later. Take care.